16-year-old Persuade Mklanga dropped out of school when her grandmother couldn't afford the fees anymore, $100 a term. She'd given up hope of becoming a dentist. Then one day, aid workers from Plan International came to her house and asked why she wasn't in class. They got Persuade back into school, sponsoring her and other girls like her friend, 18-year-old Annette Tagara, who wants to be a soldier. Persuade says her worst fear was ending up a teenage bride. My friend got married. She became pregnant. The day she gave birth, she died. I don't know how she died. She was 15. The United Nations estimates the number of girls marrying as children will likely double by 2050. Africa will have the highest number of child brides in the world. The Constitutional Court ruled last year that the age for getting married should be 18. Despite that, the government still hasn't outlawed child marriages. The proposed law is stuck in Parliament. Some parents marry their teenage daughters off to much older men for money. Other children see marriage as an escape from extreme poverty at home. Government officials say the number of girls out of school is increasing. They start to be to fend for the families instead of going to school, meaning there will be school dropouts. Uh, the parents who think of paying fees for the boy child instead of the girl child. There are no government statistics on how many or where all these girls are. Aid workers say the majority fall through the cracks. They become known as the invisible girls. We talk of sustainable development goals. Yes, we have numbers, we have targets, but those targets do not represent the actual picture on the ground. So let's get our hands dirty, let's find the information and do the right thing for these girls. Maslin Gai Pico's story is encouraging. Sponsorship helped to go back to school and finish top of her class. Soon she'll be studying law at the University of Zimbabwe. That's if she can raise the $600 needed each semester. If I do not make it as university, still I have the girl child, I have children, I have the women at heart, I will do something to advocate and stand for them. The aspiring lawyer says she wants millions of girls all over the world who may be feeling trapped to not give up hope and to see themselves as survivors and not victims. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera, Epworth, Zimbabwe.